Hey everyone and welcome. This video is not going to be a coding video but more of an announcement and a good tip. So uh, Native Base just uh, recently released their version 3 and uh, if you have been looking for something like Chakra UI um, which is a pretty known framework at least in React if you've been looking something like this for React Native uh, Native Base is a really good choice it's um, very very similar and a lot of the properties that you can ans assign to directly to elements so basically CSS properties uh, are at least most of them are there okay and if you've been using using native base before you might be a little bit mm, discouraged to dive into version 3 because uh, at least in my opinion version 2 wasn't great and I always opted for something else like React Native Paper uh, when picking up a UI framework but native base version 3 is really something else and uh, they have basically modernized the whole thing and uh, yeah there's just a lot of cool things in here so uh, basically a recommendation from my side to have a look at the docs and uh, yeah try this library out it's pretty cool um, another library that I want to mention here is Magnus UI this uh, library tried to do something similar uh, a utility first library where it also is a little bit similar to Chakra but uh, yeah I uh, have High hopes for native base uh, might become the new uh, standard for those looking for a similar framework to Chakra. I have also tried the library, played around with it a little bit in a project, and uh, I have only just a few concerns, but um, otherwise I've been running pretty smooth so far. So this is the project that I've been working on just recently, just another one of my side projects. And you can see, um, yeah, basically you can see the uh, components here in, uh, in use. So here for this card that I'm creating, I'm dragging out heading. So heading is one of the typography elements here. And also text, text is Text is basically uh, your body text inside your app component. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's it's working as expected. Uh, one concern and one nice feature is that uh, native base have um, basically not only added new components, but they also modified existing ones. So, for example, if I want to grab a view or a flat list or something else uh, I can do that and then apply the styles directly on the element which is pretty cool now one caveat that's the only thing that I've um, reached so far is for example such a component as image background maybe not the most used one but definitely a, a component that sometimes is being used um, this one is not uh, importable from native base so uh, <clears throat> yeah basically you would have to grab it from react native and then apply the styles in a style sheet here as you would normally do but that's uh, that's really a minor and um, yeah okay so uh, that's kind of all I want to say in this video just quite a quick announcement and a hot tip for those who are looking for a library like this because I mean in react it's uh, you have more choices really you have chakra you have even uh, material UI or bootstrap or something else that are pretty uh, well created but in react native world it's pretty difficult to find a good UI library and for those people like myself who is not 
the greatest at design is it's so good to yeah have that option to drag grab a really good um yeah component library all right that's all for this one see you in the next one